just a few weeks away from the start of football season, and millions of men around the world will, of course, be indulging in their favorite meals as they support their teams on the big screen. But, boys, it's not just the weight gain you need to worry about during football season. A new study from Harvard University suggests that fast food may actually have a long-term impact on male fertility. So here to give us some more detail about this study this morning is Dr. Cavusi uh, with Austin Fertility. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. appreciate you being here. You always bring us really inf interesting information about fertility. This morning, you're telling me that fast food has an impact on sperm count, right? Yeah, that's right. And so there's a recent study, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. that took a really large population over about a nine-year period, and they looked at 3,000 men and they looked to see what their dietary patterns were and they correlated that with uh, sperm counts, the parameters that we look at for male fertility, but also for hormonal testing, which was actually in my mind a little bit more concerning. So what they found was they categorized men in several dietary patterns, one that they called the Western diet, which is kind of the fast food diet. Mm -hmm. So pizza, processed meats, um, chips, um, sweets, energy drinks, all those things that the we all American want to eat, diet. right? <laughs> and, so, <laughs> yeah. um, and they categorized other men, what they called the prudent diet, which uh -huh. was you know, chicken, fish, uh, vegetables, fruits, lots of water, the healthy mm -hmm. diet that we think of. And they looked at their sperm counts and they found a significantly lower sperm count in men that eat the Western diet than the prudent diet. The part that I actually found, as if not more concerning, however, was that there's a hormone called inhibin B and they found that the men that were taking that fast food diet had a suppression of that hormone. The reason, yeah, the reason that one is concerning is that hormone is um, it's made by the supportive cells that help produce uh, sperm uh, cells in the testicles. And so when we see that drop, it's actually a marker of a diminishment in function of those cells. Mm -hmm. So what that makes us worry about is, is this actually reversible? Mm -hmm. So we need more studies to really define that, mm -hmm. but it really raises that question and raises concern about what we're doing from a dietary lifestyle factor may actually have an impact that may or may not be reversible. We still have to figure that out. Fascinating. Now, do women seem to have a similar reaction with fast food? Yeah, there's actually certain studies that show the same, wow. that show that women's fertility can be affected um, by poor diets. And what we see is that on fertility on both sides, really things that are good for our overall health are good for our fertility health. So, you know, from this standpoint, the old saying, you know, what you, what you are, what you eat sort of thing yes. is actually being proven in really? a cellular standpoint. Yeah. And so we really need to be cautious about our choices mm -hmm. and making sure that we're making the best choices, not just for health, but for our potential to, you know, build our families in the future. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've got all this, di this data and all the science that shows us that this type of diet, we know it's bad for cardiovascular disease. We know it's bad for cholesterol for diabetes, colon cancer, all these other issues. But this is the really first big study that's yeah. shown the potential long-term effect on a man's fertility, yeah. which really caused a lot of concern because we are seeing that we're getting less fertile as a male population in the United States with time. Mm -hmm. Over the decades, as a population, our sperm count is dropping and we're getting less fertile. So there's a lot of efforts and research trying to figure out why, mm -hmm. and then the next step is obviously trying to prevent that from happening. Yeah, well, so are there any symptoms men should be looking for? There aren't really symptoms that we see that go along with this. Mm -hmm. It's really just when they start trying to build their family and conceive when they have a, a struggle doing so. can't figure out why, right. yeah. And okay. then we check them and we look to see what can we fix, and then are there mm -hmm. things that are not fixable, then we talk about what level of assistance is appropriate based on that. Okay, well, Dr. Cavusi, very informative. We appreciate you being here this Thank morning. Thank you for having talking me. to us about this. And here at KXAN, we're committed to helping you learn about your health along with our partner, the American Heart Association. So for resources and easy tips to live healthier, just head to kxan.com and click on Simple Health.